You know what time it is. It's time to slay some spire. Man. I'm feeling more tired than I was yesterday, which is not a good sign. It's probably because I didn't eat dinner. Normally, normally I'm like feeling tired after work and then I get some dinner in me and I'm like, yeah, it gives me a bit of, a bit of a boost. But right now, I'm like, I'm boostless. No boosts. What do you, what do you, what do you got? If you don't got boosts, you got, is there an antonym for boost? Like a specific antonym? I'm not sure there is. Well, whatever it is, that's what I got. Curse for random rare relic, not a curse for random common relic. These are reasonable options. Whoops, I have minimized the video game. Okay. Okay. That's like, that's a pretty safe path. Even with a super elite, it's got like four bonfires. What are my other options? No. There's no way that lets me... Yeah, the only way that lets me fight a bunch of elites in case I get a really good relic also does not let me remove the curse. It also has one bonfire on it. So I think I'm going up this side path no matter what. Probably means I'm just gonna take a common relic. We got the tiny chest. Alright, let's rock and roll. Me maneuver myself here figured since I'm gonna be weak next turn I may as well get him within one strike of being dead hello there parade of fools how's it going Welcome to the stream, where we dream of cookies and cream. Mm, man, I haven't had a Hershey's cookies and cream in uh, quite some time. I don't really eat chocolate bars or anything like that anymore. Because I'm trying to be a healthy boy. Which eh, it has its ups and downs. Nice! Very nice. How'd that go for you? Did you beat it? Did you give it a heart attack? Mm, I gotta fight Slime Tony. I don't want any of these cards. Cool. Fuck! I get extra bonfires. All right, well, may have just ended that run. Oh, you cleared the third boss, gotcha. All right, well, um, might have lost the run to that scrap ooze. Last year you needed to clear, nice. And now you have a, quite a climb ahead of you. Quite a climb indeed. 20 ascensions for each character. And then also, you know, dealing with the heart. Or you can just play around and have fun. Race damage checks, yep. That's a legitimate strategy. I'm gonna die. I got so greedy at that ooze. Hello. Tiny chest already being a champion. No. I'm gonna have to nap instead of upgrading, uh... Fuck, I didn't even get anything either. What was it, like 3, 4, 5? Was that 9, 12? It starts at 3, right? Or does it start at 5? Because I went to 9. If it starts at 5, it's like 5, 6, 7. What is that? Like 13, 18, 26. Yeah, no, no. I think it starts at 5 then. 
Took like 35 damage. I'm gonna wait for the bash. Mercury Hourglass. I was like, why did it break his shield? Because I got three extra damage from Mercury Hourglass. That's why it broke his shield. block for three I go down to ten I block for three again I don't survive but if I block for six I do survive oh no no I don't because right he won't be weak um okay so what happens if I drink this oh good I win that was close Paper Frog is pretty good. I want a Burning Pack this early. Okay, well, a bit of an unfortunate. We've we've got some good luck on our relics, but that one event was pretty rough. Kunai. So now I'm looking for Anger. Okay, we'll nap here to be extra safe. What else could I get? So now he should die at the start of next turn, thanks to Mercury Hourglass. Perfect. I mean, corruption's great, but... Anger, like, makes a thing do a thing. Sounds good. With the Paper Frog, I think it's a bash upgrade here. Alright, gotta fight a Super Elite. Oh, that's a lot of health. We've got Uppercut upgraded as well. Good. Don't know that Kunai is going to do very much here, but... He takes another three, goes down to 14. I don't think there's a hand of cards I could draw that wouldn't be able to kill him. Cool. So, I'll block three there. Okay. Do I want two angers? God damn it. I went here because I didn't want to shop. Armaments Plus upgrades cards. It also blocks, which is kind of important with the kunai. No, I'll save the money. Okay, picking up a Toxic Egg is pretty good, especially since I already have a kunai too, so it's like our block cards get even better. Having a fire potion for slime Tony is pretty good. Okay. Pretty good flip, I'd say. These guys split at 16. Hello. Alright. Gotta take a little bit of damage here. That's fine. It's 
probably all the damage I take in this fight, so... Yep. Not super worried. Kunai Toxic Egg Barricade. We can try to make it work. Yikes. Smells like Philosopher's Stone. We don't have enough card manipulation to guarantee that I get Kunai as much as I'd like. I need more stuff that uh, lets me exhaust Angers as well. So basically we just want, like, four copies of True Grit and four copies of Shrug It Off in the deck. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Hmm. I don't see any two elites, two bonfires options. Oh. 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 Yeah, three elites might be too many. I do have the magic of tiny chest. Deck's not very fast. It's also not very good. Hmm. Oh boy, that would be very dangerous. I'd have to get very lucky with which elites I fight. Um. If I get Gremlin le Leader, like what moves he does, and I'd have to get lucky with my relics and my card rewards. I'd have to get really lucky. Potential is there, however. I'm gonna start climbing. I don't think this is a fight for barricade. Oh. Okay, Mercury Hourglass is gonna do some good work here. I'd like to not take 15 damage. Shit. Unfortunate. Oh, why didn't I uppercut? That would have made more sense. Um, actually, it's probably better that I do this to look for more damage, yeah. Uh, we have a kunai, a paper frog, an uppercut plus, and a bash plus. I feel like drop kick is actually the correct choice here. Strangely enough, it's like it draws a card, pays for itself, is an attack. I just dump barricade right now. Oh, that's so slow. Hold out for hope. It is a lot of future HP I just gave up. Sure did gain two dexterity. That one hurts. Wait. Ah, right. Paper frog. Does more damage than I thought it did. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okie dokie. There's no way I make it if I go this way. I'd have to get some kind of miracle. That's also three elites if I go that way, except there's fewer bonfires, which means I'd be stuck on one elite. Or I'd have to do two elites with one bonfire. My card rewards are pretty good, considering Toxic Egg. I'm gonna click on this one. I clicked it. Let's click. I love taking 10 damage. One of my favorite pastimes. Um. Wow. I could sure use some shrugs. Some good old shrugs. You know, the kind. The kind that Ma and Pa used to make. Back in the war. Keep kicking the shit out of her. Wham! 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 Still take seven. No. I don't want these. I'll do it with two potions. I was like, 39 health, I don't know. But I have potion power, so... Fuck. Get him, boys! Mm. 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 Neat. I think my best bet might be just like going ham on this man. Sure is my body you're hitting. He's still gonna have two dudes alive by next turn. Which means he's guaranteed to attack. Yarp. Shit. Ruh Thank you very much. Ultra TMA. Or is that supposed to be Ultra Atma? Had not considered that. Died to the first elite. Yeah. Yeah. I've been calling you Ultra TMA and just assumed it was Ultra with two A's at the end this whole time. Ultra Atma. That makes more sense. Ultra Atma Ultima. I thought they were Ultima weapon. An Atma weapon. I don't remember an Ultra weapon. Or was there an Ultra at? I don't remember. It's been a while. <sighs> We've got a shenanigans box. I should have given up that barricade to the fire spirits. Might be able to take that, then what? Uh, get one bonfire and one elite. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Or I could not do that. 
Instead, take four hallway fights. Ooh, that sounds less appealing. The song... Interesting. Hmm. That's a... Ooh, I was gonna say, that's a pretty reasonable path, and I noticed. Hmm. Five hallway fights. Probably handle five hallway fights with uh, an extra bonfire. We're going the nice, simple, easy, regular path. The most vanilla path. Thank you very much. Nope, nope, yes. I think Ironclad is probably the hardest class to make use of Kunai, since he very rarely prevents damage by actually pe playing block cards. This uh, Jawworm fight's not going well. He still has, well, 15 health now. That's what I get for removing a strike. I get instantly punished by Jawworm. Fourteen health gone. This could be rough. If I don't start getting some good damage very soon, I could be in some trouble. I only took one damage here, so that's fine. Take a dash. Got a number of two cost cards in the deck now. Just trying to decide which to hit. Knocking him down to 12s makes it so that two strikes kills him and that three weakened strikes kills him. And knocking him down to five also makes us that a regular strike would kill him. I decided that was better than like eight and nine. Hey, got a poison stab. Hello, big boy. I'm gonna drink this now. Sure would have liked a bouncing flask there. Mmm. What is he split at? 34? So he's already splitting. It's probably better to play Bouncing Flask than to get four block. Wow, they all hit him. It's gonna take eight and seven, which means he survives. Unless I can hit him next turn with something. They both have four health. Cool. No point risking it on Bouncing Flask. As unlikely as it is, they could have all hit this guy and I would have been very sad. Who needs attacks? Who needs them?
So all of our damage, all of the damage that we've added to our deck has poison attached to it at this point. So obviously Noxious Fumes and Corpse Explosion are pretty good cards to look out for. So they're usually pretty good guard cards to look out for, regardless. Poison indeed. I will absolutely take that flying knee. Probably going to have to nap here. Okay. Bouncing Flask is going to be a bit rough in this fight. Not anymore. Obviously, I'm not going to play it here because I still have to block. I think we're keeping this Poison Potion for the next Elite. If I strike, he dies. Take 5 damage. It prevents Dazes from entering my deck and also ensures I don't take an extra 10 damage next turn because who knows what I'm drawing. Okay, turns out I drew enough, but you can't ever tell. Probably going to have to nap again, unless I get super lucky like that. He's going to die next turn just to the poison, which is why flying need him. It does mean I get, you know, three more dazes put in, but it also means I don't waste three damage. Please. Three poison. It's better than nothing. Yep, I figured I was going to take ten, at least at some point during this fight. If I were still at 40, then I could probably get away with not napping. Uh, that's before the treasure chest. Okay. Let's take another poison stab. Yep. Unfortunate, but there was an elite between me and that bonfire, so... Okay. That added, what, two poison stabs, a flying knee, a dash. I've added four attacks, removed two, added two skills, so we're basically plus two skills, plus two attacks. And it's not Gremlin Knob, so all's well that ends well. Flying knee for next turn. Good. Shame I couldn't get the Neutralize upgraded, that would have been helpful here. Oh. Probably do that. Let me do the math here. 19... I'm either playing these three or I'm playing these two. Oh yeah, removing strikes. Strikes are like, terrible. <laughs> They're really bad. Almost every attack you can pick up is better than a strike. And since you need a lot of early damage uh, to take on Act 1 Elites, your deck gets like overbloated with damage cards, so then strikes just become the thing to remove. And also the fewer strikes you see, the more often you see your better damage cards as well, so. Uh, okay, so if I hit him with this, he goes down to 61 and 22 poison. 61 minus 22, and then minus 21, and then minus... Oh yeah, no, that just kills him. He'll just die to poison in three turns. B flash? What? Lower the clock. What are we talking about? Uh, it doesn't matter if it lowers the clock. Uh, because he's not attacking us until after next 
Like, I, he, he's gonna take poison... He's gonna take 21 and then 20 before the next time he hits me. So, like, if it... If I could have ended it a turn earlier, it literally doesn't matter. Because he wasn't gonna hit me in that time. Don't think I need a slice. Don't think I want any of these. Okay, upgrade here. It's like, upgrading a Bouncing Flash is probably better for Guardian, but there are many, many, many fights that aren't Guardian in the future, so... Okay, so my job is to kill this guy. He's at 13. to deal 9 damage to him. Perfect. I'd say this is probably easier than the last fight. I'm down with this. care about the vulnerable at all. How many poison stabs is too many? I think we're good here. Snag an escape plan. Do I need to nap? What's up, big boy? Hello. It's not going to flip him right away, but it is basically going to win the fight. 7 plus 9, I need 16 damage. Got it. Nice. Does keep his shield, that's fine. Take 1 damage for poison stab. Worth it for the 3 poison. Dang it. Good. Good, 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 good. Man, this Art of War is like a champion? Some kind of champion. Turn it off to apply weak. I think that's fine since I'm not going to be able to spend all my energy next turn anyway, since some amount of it is going to be attacks. Yeah. Another one or three poison. Although that probably was not quite necessary here. Got him. I started... I was at what, like 37? I think so. Artivore is pretty good. Smells like a wraith form. Sozu? I'm less inclined to take the curse key because of Matryoshka. Yep, Sozu it is. Oh, hello. 
So what do I go to? I go to two events, go to a shop, bonfire, elite, bonfire, bonfire, elite. That's a pretty good path. That's a better path than I usually get out of Act 2. Yeah. Okay, so we go up this way. Nice. Decent number of events. I like it. I still have no powers in it. Oh, I guess I've got a Wraith form now. Yeah, that's not super useful here. Interesting. Oh, I really wanted that other piercing whale. Really wanted that other piercing whale. Take another four. But I lack an ability to knock them down, I at least make up for poison damage. I should have played that bouncing flash before I played the uh Piercing Whale. Oh well, doesn't really matter. He's dead next turn. It is quite frequently birds. Um, there aren't that many possible fights in the uh, easy fight pool in Act 2. What is it? It's like, chosen by himself, three birds, or a Spheric Guardian. So, unless you manage to get through the Act, only fighting one hallway fight, you're always going to fight at least two of those three. So. Oh, and two thieves. Two thieves is in there too. Pretty sure. I think I need an acrobatics here. I'm feeling fat and sassy. Thank you very much for the follow. Fanny's the Blue Phoenix. Fan yes, the Blue Phoenix? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But I hope you're feeling fat and sassy. No, it's the first two fights. In Act 1, it's the first three hallway fights are pulled from the easy pool. In Acts 2 and 3, fan yes, fair enough. In Acts 2 and 3, it's the first two that are pulled from the easy pool. And then after that, they're pulled from the hard pool. And then after that, there's actually specific waitings on certain fights. Like, um, in Act 2, I believe from the hard pool, I believe... S no, Snake Plant. Snake Plant has the highest chance of happening. Then after that, it's Snacko, and then after that, like, everything is so cool. Wait, did I not? Oh, wow. I totally... You're correct. I'm sorry, Livhi. I put it everywhere else, and I just completely forgot to put it in Discord. But, at least you get to use one of the new audio commands, so that's something. I haven't, like, removed a card yet. I could... Have I? Yeah, I have. It's like 100 gold for random relic? No. There are specific relics that I'm looking for. Smells like transforming two cards. That might... Those might both be downgrades. Oh, right, I have the thing. Well, these are options. Which one's worse? I have an acrobatics now that makes tactician slightly better. Not enough disappointment. I don't know if I want funnel. I don't have any powers, so I'm not sure how I'm killing the boss without Catalyst. It's like I have no scaling. My my Right now, my game plan is just like throw a bunch of poison on them and make them explode. Cool. 
Not the best shop. We will find. Oh, I know Funnel is good. Funnel's alright. But Funnel doesn't kill Bronze Automaton. I've removed nearly every strike in my deck. I'm going to refuse. I would have liked that meat on the bone too, but I probably would have preferred meat over Funnel. Uh, yeah, I am going to want to block at some point. Smells like Wraith Form upgrade? Wraith Form upgrade. We, we don't know that they're vampires for sure. The event is called Vampires? With a question mark. Don't discriminate. Um, I get to do one of these. Hey, look what else I get to do. Q! Alright, now I just have to survive for three turns. Wraith form, wraith form, wraith form, wraith form. Hey. See you later, idiot. Ha ha, bitch. I do what I want. I'm feeling fat. That's assy. Thank you very much for the follow, Pandoranders. I hope you're feeling fat and sassy. Yeah. Give him the knee. I mean, if I have two acrobatics, that massively increases the chances that I don't need to get rid of this tactician. Deadly poison would be nice, but that's an acrobatics plus, baby. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Why was that the phrase they decided to go with? As if, like, somehow SpaghettiOs are a negative occurrence. Uh, just Wraith Form? Farts. Double dick! I really didn't want to play Defend. Gotta get that poison. Oh, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have tossed the bouncing flask. Whoops, I'm an idiot. I've played this whole turn entirely wrong. Wow, terrible. Not the time for catalyst. Bouncing flask? Shite, 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 shite. Yeah, I should have played. Yeah, I didn't think about whether or not I was going to end up using the uh, energy pot. Oh, these defends are worthless. Uh, piercing wheel still good, though. Aha! Prevent six damage. Oh, it's less than six damage because he's weak. Part of me starting to wish I didn't play that catalyst now. I thought this fight would have been over by then. Mmm. 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 Hmm. I was like, if I don't drop piercing wheel, I just lose. Got him. Used all the potions I had for the rest of the run. And I lost what? Like 18 health? It's honestly not that bad. But I got him. Nightmare. There's a there's a Ray Form Plus in my deck, and a Catalyst as Nightmare. Yeah, I'll take a Ginger. Uh, take a Mega Nap. Nice. Probably want to upgrade Night. Catalyst. Yeah. Um, let's do this. Then this. Don't think I need the catalyst here. I don't actually draw me too many cards. So here, let's do one of these. Maybe some of that. 
Dang it, Bobby. Just looking for that tactician. So I could just get a free aggro. Uh. What I spy it? Yeah, I guess I didn't have a very good turn one, did I? I have no powers to put into play. These acrobatics would be a lot better if I could use them to fish for some goddamn powers. You know, to make me like stronger throughout the fight instead of just staying the same strength. Thank you very much, Dog Wisdom. Oh boy. I have no fucking scaling. Scream. Scream again. Fail to draw cards. Fail to full block. God damn. Noxious fumes, well laid plans, footwork, like, powers, 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 powers. If I had, like, I don't know, pickable powers in my deck, like two, we'd have won the fight by now. But I don't. I have none of those. Rayform? Fuck off. I literally cannot draw the cards I need when I need them. It's just, like, not happening? Am I actually dying here? Hail Mary? Well, shit. Shite and fight. I think I've lost. Still alive, baby. Wow, that poison really likes the mystic. You have a fantastic pickable power, it just doesn't show up in the same hand as Nightmare. Yeah, basically. But I've only got the one. I mean something that scales. Alright, we're gonna blast this man to the fucking moon. I took so much gu I don't think I've ever had that bad a fight against Centurion and Mystic. About to end this whole man's career. Get out of here. It's career of Centurioning. Thank God I have a regal pillow, otherwise this would be over. <laughs> He's a career. Do I want to maybe get rid of Tactician so I stop digging for it for no reason? Yeah, the Noxious Fumes is nice. That fight would have been over like five, six turns early if we had a Noxious Fumes. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, Dog Wisdom. What is that face supposed to represent? Tactician was alright. We had like two more acrobatics pluses. It would be consistently good. Right now it's inconsistently good. And inconsistently bad, which makes it consistently meh. Could probably use like block cards with all this card draw. All right. Even if I remove the strike, that leaves me with five cards. Let me turn around. Thank God. And even uh oh, mm. oh, I got fumes. Oh baby, I got fumes. I'm fuming. Fuming and spuming. Ten. 
Just barely can't kill the angry one. Full block. Okay. Uh... He's gonna go to 5. 10, 20, 40. I take 10 damage, he goes up to 80. If I don't take 10 damage, he goes up to 40. And I also lose an energy next turn. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's not how that works. These numbers are going to be entirely different. 8, 16, 32. Never mind. 64 is still pretty good, though. Smells like uh, taking damage, though. Haha! -ha! I cannot be weakened. Rayform, Rayform, Rayform's not in here, is it? Rayform, 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 Rayform! Ha! Huh. Got him! Oh, I also had enough damage to just kill him, apparently. 69! Poison! Got him. Fuck, I've seen two infinite blades, and I was like, maybe, maybe. Nap again, because my body... Thank you very much, Tunnel Jumper. I wonder which card I feel nightmare. Crap. Uh, yeah, let's start digging through those uh, artifacts. Yes, I just needed one to hit him. Not gonna worry about Wraith forming just yet. Wish I had Corpse Explosion. Or, I guess I've got Noxious Fumes. That'll handle it. The city, it's gonna steal my Catalyst. Unless I don't have it! Aha! Probably gonna wait on that a little while. Considering the poison is now officially ticking. So this idiot's gonna steal a Wraith form, though. Uh, yeah, I'll play one of these now. He has escape plan? I don't care about that. We're concerned with this one. Since that's three turns of intangible sitting back there. Oh, right, I didn't play the first one. I've got... 12 turns of intangible, not 9. I see. Wow. Yeah, I definitely want to kill these idiots so that Bouncing Flask stops hitting them. Because it's not very helpful to me that that's what Bouncing Flask is doing. Lord Almighty. It's a lot of screaming. Probably wait one more time for Catalyst. Damn it. That doesn't count. It's only two extra poison. Never did get to upgrade this. Got lots of turns left. There's a Wraith Form still in the deck, I think. Yeah, and there's the one I'm gonna get from this guy this turn. Literally just needed a thing to kill him with, so now I can do this.
Don't want to escape plan in case I accidentally draw the uh, wraith form here. Yeah, I want to play this one. Now we can catalyst. Yeah. You know, it might be too late for Catalyst. I think he's just dead. Should have used it earlier. Might have prevented two damage. Hey, got him. Wonder how much damage he was doing. Probably like 90 or something. Was it this run? No, it was last run that I saw Chemical X. Just snag Glass Knife. Alchemize is uh, pretty bad. Fusion Hammer. We almost have enough card draw to make 5 energy really good. Not quite, we'd actually need a little bit more. I'd rather assert dominance by actually winning the run. Yeah, it's definitely Fusion Hammer over Tiny House. Also makes it a bit easier to use Kunai. Okay, so now we need to find Kunai magic. My little Kunai dexterity is magic. Okay, I like the placement of that shop. Tiny House is okay. It's not the worst, it's not the best. It's a card. Okay, let me just kill this guy with poison, no problem. Definitely need more card draw, though. Like, a lot more card draw. Found it. Next turn, easy peasy. Do I need a deadly poison plus? I don't think I do. Um, that is too weak. That is a sucker punch plus. That's quite a bit better than a regular Sucker Punch. There's very little weak in this deck. And also it's an attack for Kunai. No, that means I won't have very much gold by the time I get here. I don't think I will. Well, it strips artifacts. Mm, no. Or Walker, walking down the street, or Walker. Tactician is getting much worse since I'm not picking up any more acrobatics. It's true, it is good for artifact breaking, but there's still like a lot of particular cards or sorts of cards that I need for this deck to really work, and I want to make sure I have enough gold to buy all that at a shop. Three damage here, that's fine. Good fight.
take a dagger throw. How good is expertise? No, I'll just take another piercing whale. I already have more energy than I know what to do with. I think I'm actually going to take the key here. If I had, like, Bottled Nightmare, Bottled Ray form, then I'd be like, sure, give me the Ancient Tea set. Okay, three Jawworms. Oh. So that's how it is. Um, do I Ray form right now? I don't have Corpse Explosion. Do have a regal pillow. Oh god, I really need more card draw. Three energy left that turn. Still taking a bunch of damage. Yep. It is. It is a decent amount of damage. That's a lot of damage! Thank you very much, Levi. I don't even have to say it anymore. You know how this game goes. Eh. Should have thrown it first. Well, this was a pretty bad hallway fight, I'd say. All things considered, quite trash. White trash. Yeah, I lost, like, almost 40 health. There we go! Backflip! That's what the deck wants! I never get the Nightmare anything good. Wow, this whole hand sucks. Just sucks. Full blocked. Uh, I'm about to get absolutely creamed. I don't think I have a choice on this ray form. Means I just start working on her. Okay. I have like not got this connected to proc once. He's fucking resummoning again. Eh. Not ideal. Don't have Noxious Fumes up. Again, those are like the only two powers in the deck. I'm gonna have to kill these. Because I'm not intangible next turn. I just got Noxious Fumes up. Ah, uh, smells like dying. Smells like dying to Reptomancer. A single well laid plans, and I just, just like absolutely smashed this run. I held on to that nightmare until I picked up Wraith form. I'd be still intangible.
Not the cooliest. And these both have six. So they're gonna take six and then eight is 14. This leaves them at nine. So do that. Should be fine. No. No, that leaves them at 11. Whoops. Um. I need you to be weak. Oh boy. Oh wow, that wasn't a lot of damage at all. Hmm. 10, 9. I'm, there's no way, right? Could have killed this one. Oh, yeah, these block for zero. There's no way. I was toast no matter what. Man. We pretty much, we were pretty much just like, being supported by that Regal Pelo, just hoping to get a couple more floors to get some kind of scaling. Had I bought one of those infinite blades? I might have been able to make it. Because I hit, like, two kunai, like, two uh, attacks a turn quite frequently. Infinite blades would have been a third one. I might have saved enough health that I could have upgraded a card to that bonfire instead of napping. I probably would have upgraded Catalyst over it. Well, I might have been smart enough to realize that I absolutely needed infinite blades to not get crushed. And so making it innate would have been good, but... <sighs> we got five piercing now, so that's a plus. Yeah, definitely needed more card draw. Badly. On five energy? Hmm. I couldn't have upgraded. Infinite Blades at that last bonfire. I had a fusion hammer. Uh, lose all gold for random rare relics. Smells like the play. Well, excuse you. Four bonfires, two elites. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I find Dead Branch is harder to use on Defect than the other two, but... You can still make some magical things happen. It makes Recycle much better. Like, much better. It makes Ascender's Bane better. Yee-haw. Take the Tempest just so I have a zero cost exhaust. I couldn't do anything with it that turn though. Unless it exhausted into a zero cost card. Motors to cast. Um, no, I've got dual cast. Here. Do it like this. Man, I've been having Rip and Tear just like not work out for me recently. If you have to fight like a slime or, you know, anytime there's more than one target, rip and tear is just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip it. Remove, upgrade, smells like a remove. Considering the number of bonfires we have, we've got uh, plenty of time for upgrades. Oh, hey, I didn't even need to put it in my deck. Uh, maybe I should have only 
played one block card. It's gonna take a long time for Zap to out damage Ripinter, unless I draw dual cast, in which case it actually won't take that long. So I guess I'll play Zap. Oh hey, I drew dual cast. I think I should take the Doom and Gloom here over the Cool Headed. Well, hello. Ah, uh, this also smells like a pretty good time to use my regen pot. Actually, maybe I should have held that for Act 2 because of all these bonfires I have. That might have made more sense. Hmm. Not a great one. Rebound defend because I'm only going to need 10 block because that strike just kills him straight up. Dual cast? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have rebounded. Got him. Oh, I guess Dead Branch does some magical things in this fight. Didn't really need it. Oh. I haven't had to take a runic dodecahedron in a while. Nice, man. We've been getting data disc a lot recently. Okay, lots of health. One bigger boy. Do it in this order. Dual cast is gonna do like 40 damage. I think I'm gonna do it like this. And yeah, he's dead. A damage gremlin knob. I could use a uh, block card, sure. Yeah, there's absolutely no value to another shop at this point. Upgrade the Doom and Gloom. A nice A15 defect run earlier. It was pretty terrible to start. Nice. Honestly, like, Bird Face Turn's really good. Even if, at, like, like, at the start, all you have is upgraded defrag. It's basically a, you know, vial of blood. Worst case scenario. Slightly worse, because you have to actually play the defrag. You know, you get like three, four, five powers. You don't even need a creative AI to make it really good. You know, if it heals are like 10 health a fight, you're just like, <laughs> good job. It's more than you usually get. Excuse me. I win? I want to chill. All the powers are in Act 3. Yeah. I don't have any Frost Orbs. It's not a Darkness Plus. It's just a regular Darkness. I think having that one, like, really solid block card be really handy. I'm even gonna save chill for when I can use it for something a little better than just like dealing nine damage. Well, I mean that was a little bit of overblock, but oh hey. I 
can get more damage out of this now, or I could wait Die. until I can use it to flip them. Thank you very much, J Nerdling. I think I'm gonna wait until I can use it to flip them. Like so. That would, probably would have been better next turn. I guess I didn't think about that when I picked the chill. Take four damage. I probably, it's probably not ideal. Probably could have prevented more damage not playing the Echo Form there, since this fight is, you know, pretty much ours. I was digging for Doom and Gloom there to try to get another Dark Orb up. I hadn't thought of that, Live High. It's just Echo Forms all the way down. Deck is quite a bit better without strikes in it. If I can't play the Echo Form, I do get an extra card. I really want to recycle plus. Take the battery. Hmm. Two leads, two bonfires, no shop. Two leads, two bonfires, no shop. Two leads, two bonfires, a shop earlier than I want. Also, more hallway fights. I actually get an extra event if I go up this way. Okay. Honestly, Data Disc is being an absolute champ. Yeah. Interesting. The bitch, the bitch, the bitch. You can't just decide to be Paul and Jock. You have to be bred for that, right? Look, that's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies, on rent they are cousins too. Distant, distant, look at these two. Couple of hive harries, let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned <laughs> me against a mushroom. Pinned me against a mushroom. Thank you very much, Jannard Ling. Um, I'm gonna... Hmm. There was the recycle there, but I was like, no. the bitch, the bitch, the What the fuck? He had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Oh, my. I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. 
we're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh, Barry? A puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I or not. We're going 0900 at J Gate. <laughs> what? What do you think, Buzzy Boy? It it skipped a couple words. <laughs> maybe I or not. I want none of these. Can't forget I got this Omomori too. Are you B enough? Probably. Twice the B you'll ever be. What do you think of that? I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna kill him. No, no. Looking at cards. Seek? I could. Hmm. Seek, defrag, cool headed. Gotcha. Thank you very much, Junior Ling. Yeah, Book of Stabbing Slavers. Getting Echo Form out early makes, like, all of those fights way easier. Double Doom and Gloom kills, like, every single Gremlin. And does uh, quite a bit of damage to the Slavers. Double Sunder will kill any Slaver and give me three energy back. Yeah, we don't have that much orb stuff, so defrag is not quite as good here. We're we're pretty hard on that echo form right now. <laughs> Thank you very much, Junordling. Well, this is gonna hurt. Prevent five damage or double echo. I'm pretty sure I don't need to double echo. Still haven't gotten our uh, 69th boat yet. That one. Charge battery? Charge battery is pretty good when you echo form it. Kinda like pays for itself. We got a wheel, baby! Tipos for power! Hey! Well, that's handy. It's nothing. Nothing's come up. I feel like I just wanna, like. Upgrade charge battery. I feel like I want to upgrade my defensive cards because um, I'm taking a lot of damage. And also my other upgrades are not crazy good. I guess a seek upgrade's not terrible here. I don't have anything really outrageous to grab. I feel like I don't play chill here unless I do this. Yeah. Now I do this. And that. And this. And this. And that. Okay. Not bad. Uh, in fact, quite, quite an incredible turn one, really. Smells like double charge battery. 
Aren't you? Double Sunder. Die. Oh, wait. Right. Um, that's probably fine. Yeah, I draw Doom and Gloom next turn. I had to use a draw pot, but uh that was a four damage. What you what you call it? No, maybe? No, I want cool headed. It's a seek upgrade now. I have not picked up many cards in this act. This was from a event? Yeah, the only card reward. I guess Geary is not too bad. I might get to use it, depending on how well this run goes. It's like grab Echo Form and... Chill. Mm. No, I'll do it like this. Wow! Who needs cool headed when you've got dead branch? Alright, I've got the power of doubling things. Including the number of daisies going into my discard. Yeah, I just stopped there. Didn't get a lot of damage. So we'll kill him. But then he remains alive. Oh, next turn's gonna be bad. Cool. Uh. No, I think I'll pass on that Thunderstrike. Oh, I guess the dazes aren't that bad since I've got a dead branch. Sonk my donk. There we go. Hologram Plus seems pretty good. Almost went the wrong way and had to fight an extra elite. No thanks. Echo Form. What am I spending my other energy on? Nothing. Sender's Bane. Yeah, fuck it. I'll get another lightning orb. Besides, Dead Branch might give me something new. I see. Um, give me Doom and Gloom again. Got him! Well, that was good. <laughs> I'll take the T-Frag. Hello, 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 shite. Mm, really don't wanna use that chill right here. Oh, are we beating Bronze Automaton? Dark Orbs? Probably Dark Orbs. Well, that's not a very good one. Oh, hello. No. I cannot kill this guy. We got the Echo Form into play, though. Mm. Wow. Would have been a pretty good turn for the Double Thunder. Would have been a pretty good turn, indeed.
On the plus side, I did block a whole lot. I'm still not vulnerable. Quite impressive. Probably should have been the fire potion. Yeah. Not bad. Persian doesn't really do anything. Oh, it does move the Dark Orb to the front. <clears throat> Give me something playable. That's playable. Yeah. Yeah, I could have had the Dark Orb up front by now. Cool. Yeah, I'll take Electrodynamics. Eight health, baby. Do have a bunch of money. I think defrag is the upgrade I want the most right now. I also wouldn't mind. 60 gold to also remove the strike. But I also lose an upgrade. I'm gonna hit the two upgrades. I can't complain. Oh, I can complain about this though. Ah, hmm. Um, I think I've lost the run. Yeah, I don't think I got a single hallway fight out of an event. Yeah, so that was like a 50-50. Hey, Icy Curves, how's it going? Yeah, there's no way. Did I get too greedy? How did I get too greedy? At what point? Where specifically was... The too much greed. Not healing where? You mean, like, here? When I took Seek? Instead of healing at the library? No, I'm pretty sure... Wasn't I only missing four health? What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure I was only missing 4 health. Also, I don't think that 4 health would help me here. If I had a, still had that draw pot, I might be able to do something, but I don't, so I can't, so... rip. A GG. Farewell to my body. Man, I am super hungry. Alright. <sighs> That's how it goes. Man, we could have we could have beat Bronze Automaton with that deck. That was definitely doable. And we had an Electrodynamics, which would have helped a lot in Act 3. But uh Avocado said no no no. No 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 no. I never get to use the shenanigan box. Wow, these other options are trash. I'm, I get to take a useless shenanigans box. My favorite. I mean, I guess it means I'm going to be at full health by the time I fight the elite. That's something. That's a path. There are better ones. No... Ooh, that's got like five hallway fights. All right, let's rock and roll. See you later.
I'll take a floor one headbutt. There are just so many situations where headbutt's good that I think it's worth taking early, even though I've got nothing in particular to use it with. Makes a ghost, taking the anger. Yeah, and obviously, like... I'm gonna take the seven damage to remove a card there, even more so than normal since I'm gonna heal like 18 health over these first four floors. May as well use that hit point pool to do something. There we go. Well, now we have something. Now we have a plan for killing him. Rampage plus uh, headbutt. Yep. Okay. So now I got a pretty good chance at having a decent amount of gold for up here. Blood Potion, Energy Potion. Hmm, headbutt after the reshuffle. Not ideal. Actually, I still want to headbutt a strike on top because I have to deal with the dazes now. So that's just one more card that's not a daze my next hand. Yeah, like that. I'm gonna get to play this Rampage twice. No, I'll probably get to see it three times. Fortunate. I want to use the blood potion. Here. Yeah, in case I get another potion, because unlike the uh, fruit juice, I cannot drink that outside of fights. None, Chaku. Take a pommel strike. Draws me back towards Rampage. I guess Rampage and Angers are kind of at a bit of cross purposes. Also gets me an upgrade. Yep. Right before the Elite, um... Feels a little risky to me. Maybe I should have done it. Gambling Chip is a really good relic. Yeah, mm, since I've got the headbutt in hand, if I rampage headbutt, that means I get... I could skip and start with, like, bash strike or bash pommel strike, but doing it this way means I get rampage one more time, which in the long run will probably work out better for me. Dang it. Still playing the Rampage. I'm gonna use the energy pot. Oh, whoops. Thought Rampage was in there. Well, I mean, I certainly uh, did a lot of damage. Hello. Too bad its effects are not retroactive. It can't just give me another 12 health right now. Yeah, I think I want to go this way. Get a little bit more gold before the shop. I am being attacked. Also got this liquid bronze for Hexaghost. What is he split at? 35? Yeah, I can't deal that much. 
Guess we'll wait on it. Oh, for two on that nunchaku so far. Nice. No, thank you. Only taking six damage. Chucko actually saved me there. Alright, 9 damage. Heal 18. Worth. Get money, get cards, get mushroom. Wow, these are really not the cards I want to see. Look at his war cry. Not? Not. Would be the answer. If I'm end up having to use this Rampage to be the Act 2 boss, like if I don't come up with any other strategies, then at that point I'll upgrade Rampage. Before then, I don't think it's particularly necessary. Oh, I feel no pain with no synergies. Orchalcum's not bad. Orchalcum's actually really good. Time to calculate. 65 plus 43 plus 75. 283 Nap or not nap I have an orange chalcum I feel like the card draw from Pommel Strike will end up being pretty good over the course of a run. Interesting. Got an extra 9 damage at a nunchaku there. Better than nothing. Oh boy. I think this man might be going down. Just slightly. Angers plus Rampage plus Liquid Bronze. It's a lot of damage. Thank you very much for the follow, Mr. Binary001. I hope you're feeling fat and sassy. Sucking on fumes at this point. Uh, die? No, he's still alive. Like two, that's fine. I'll kill him with rampage next turn. Yep, killed him nice and quick. Well, hello. Well, it's not gonna be limit break. I can say that much. Probably feed. Gives me three block as well. So does offering, but. Yep, it is feeding time, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm. Angers we have. I think it's still Choker. Yeah. Got Meat on the Bone and Orchalcum, so our sustain and, like, yeah, our sustain and block is pretty at the moment. It sure is a lot of bonfires. Hmm. Hmm. 
Now we'll die at the super lead if that's where I decide to go. So I guess we're fighting one elite in this act. Cause there's no other option that this deck can. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't think this deck can handle that. It can handle hallway fights just fine between Meat on the Bone and Orchalcum. I don't want those. Uh, put feet on top. Ah, perfect. I got four block out of Nunchaku. What have I gotten out of Nunchaku so far? Well, it actually gave me a really good, uh, like a balloon fight. Was it like a balloon? It gave me some fight. I don't remember. Okay, got to munch. I don't have any strength. Thank you very much for the, the host, Spev. I almost said thank you very much for the Spev host. <laughs> How's it going? Ooh. Um, do I even have a two-cost attack? I have bash. Go for it. Got the codex. What is it you were streaming? I don't think I plan on going to a shop in this act. Potion belt's pretty good. Uh we have to play Feel No Pain. Right? Because dazes? Because dazes. Dang it. Well, rip headbutt rampage. You beat Ascension 18 with defect. Congratulations. Yeah, I just haven't. Haven't thought of any. I don't have a specific one for raids either. I don't think I even have a custom GIF. I think it's still the default zombie GIF for raids. Oh, this card goes in the down there. I don't think I want any of these. Let's use another quote from Rejected, maybe. It's gonna be difficult to feed this guy. Yeah, Impervious seems all right. Oh, or is it? Yes. Yes, it still is. Or is it? Shit. I should just put as much card draw on there as possible so I can guarantee that feed. <gasps> Wait. Seven. Nine. Oh, but it rounds weird. Shit. Or will it be 7 plus 10? You know what? I don't need to make him vulnerable. We'll just play it safe. And do it like that. Hit 5 damage. That's fine. Munched him. Nope. Am I getting jaxed? Is that what's happening? I have a Nilbreed's Codex. It can give me things that scale with strength. I think maybe I'm getting jaxed because I don't have a plan for boss fights. Cool. Hello, Book of Stabbing. Uh, that looks like an alright opener. Why didn't I jax first? Because I'm a boober. A boober with the tuber. Well, it seems like it might be good. I don't think I'm gonna go for the feed here. Oh, good. Why did I take that instead of Burning Pact? I 
don't know. Rip. Oh, he's no longer vulnerable. Shit. 34, 40, 45. Got him. Thank you, Bludgeon. Yeah, this meat on the bone. Like, meat on the bone and Nord Chalcom are just, like, absolutely carrying. It's a start. Gotta upgrade the feed. Don't really want to hit this shop. I got two more bonfires ahead of me. Sneko, you say? Um, shit. Oh, well. Sure. Bean fire seems alright. While well, I'm getting snacked. Just to play all the big bad things. Oh, I should have bashed first. No, thank you. Uh, whew. I mean, I'm, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Just gonna hope to find something to make that work out in the future. Great jacks, heavy blades, probably the next upgrade. Interesting. I keep going for this water bottle as if there's any water in it, but there's not. But for blood, the tax for zero, I'll take it. Feed? Shite. Metallicize Plus seems pretty good here. I haven't had to nap yet, but I also haven't fought a second elite, so... Getting that heavy blade. Sure, let's go to a fight first. Take Juggernaut here, we got a Metallicize Plus. So I should be able to feed on something here. Ideally. Do I have Rampage? No. Now I have Rampage. She's hmm, actually she might be buffing since he had like full health at the start. I'm still going to put Rampage on top. <sighs> Actually not going to use Juggernaut. Since it might kill her accidentally. Um, no, I don't think I need to lose another 6 health in this fight. Perfect. Health's going up. Shrug, 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 shrug. Dark Embrace. I have one card in the deck that exhausts. Really missing that corruption. However, there's a Nilri's Codex that can give me more stuff. <sighs> we're missing a piece, but overall, I think we're doing all right. I 
I upgrade Dark Embrace just so it's easier to get out of my deck. Considering there's a very real chance that neither of these cards do anything yet. If I knew I was going to be able to exhaust things, then I'd upgrade the Feel No Pain. Maybe I upgrade the Rampage. Got a Heavy Blade plus Jax plus card draw. I gotta be really careful with Nilrees that I don't make my deck too thick. Jax or Rampage? Jax. Oh, found the corruption. It wasn't in my deck, it was in a book. Corruption right now? I mean, Nilri's Codex keeps putting cards in my deck? I don't feel no pain up. Shit. Probably still using these. Damn. I'll take a limit break here. Oh, nice. Metallicize got him. Oh, I guess goodbye to Jax. He's real dead. No use for this energy. Um, skip those. You up my. All right, cool. Whatever, big boy. Gonna try to get the feet off. Three summoning. Interesting. I really like some fucking skills, please. Put back in. Rut row. All right. Well, fuck it. Not feeding. <laughs> Oh, I could have defended and drew a card. Well, there's already a Dark Embrace in the deck. Exhume... Let's me get Feed. Hmm. That could take too long, though. So that's currently all Exhume does. Yeah, pick grabbing that Corruption out of Nilri's. Really saved my bacon here. All right, I'm gonna go refill my water and I'm gonna be right back.
think that's what we're looking at. Trying to post some kind of chair emote. Didn't work out for you. It's not another Dark Embrace. Is it Emily? Excuse me. I don't think it is. A chair emote? Hmm. I do have an empty emote slot. Fusion Hammer. Fusion Hammer. I mean, it's no more upgrades, but I've got most of the upgrades I want out of the cards already in my deck. Does mean running into Velvet Choker more often. I can bug him. The thing is, I've only got the three slots, and they're for the three tiers, so I'd be like the only one who would get to use the chair emote, which is not super helpful to anybody else since, you know, the, the time to use it would be when I'm not physically present to type it. Yeah, we're just, it's just Fusion Hammer. Don't know deck, uh... Gotta fight a flamey boy? Yes, I do. Wow, that's a lot of events. Okay. Gotta hit two elites in a row, unless I go this way. Ooh, that's even more bonfires. Fewer events, though. I think I still go for it. Nice. Um, how else am I killing idiot in the middle if not with combust? I guess he's not in the middle anymore. Now he's at the back. He has a good rampage. Have a big block and build up a rampage, maybe. No. Hey, Fulwar, how's it going? We just wait for Nilri's Codex to give me an answer? Yeah, I think I'm actually just not gonna play the Combust. Shockwave helps a little bit. I'm doing alright. You know, doing the runs as usual. Battle Trance. Don't think I want Anger. What else? Okay, so now he's just going to start attacking me every turn. Probably should have just jacks a couple times and then fed. Whatever, I'm just going to jacks now. Yeah, I could have been at like 9 strength.
trying to figure out. No. I was trying to see if I could, like, headbutt Jax on top, pommel strike to draw it and play it, then limit break, and, like, impervious somewhere in there to not take damage, but there's just no way to make it all happen. I can't do that, though. Slowly but surely. Yeah, give me some more block. I'm feeding this man. Like, I'm not in danger. Okay, I don't want to jax anymore. I can get strength elsewhere. Nope. I've dealt damage. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I'm not... I don't take any damage thanks to Metallicize. So really just a single defend will do it. Yeah, I don't need to jax any more than this. <laughs> it's like the world's slowest thorn boy kill. I just don't feel like taking like nine extra damage from Combust when I don't have to. It's all on that codex, baby. I guess we can, we're like very slowly getting down with a uh, flame barrier. Got two copies of it now. No. So much energy out of Art of War. Um, I actually don't think I want the true grid. Just because it's kind of risky. That's like how many fourth, fifth brutality I saw that fight, and the second bludgeon, too. <gasps> I did it! Do I want a real true grid? Probably. Shit. I was like, I have an Omomori, right? And it's like, no, I think that was last run that I had an Omomori. I mean, this rare relic could be Dead Branch, and the card reward could be Corruption. I was like, I know, I know there's one of them that I'm still looking for. I just can't remember the name of it. Um. Headbutt lets me put feet on top. Take a headbutt. Nope, don't need any of those. God, can you imagine if we had a Reaper? I don't think I need to Jax in this fight. May as well save the health. Oh, there sure are a lot of cards I don't want. <laughs> zoom just to get full block. I like it. You know, maybe I should jack like, at least once.
There we go. <laughs> like, yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of that. I think I actually don't want to keep playing Angers here. I don't want them to multiply too much. Yeah, this works. Whoa! Uh, didn't expect the double rampage. Okay. Now I just need to make sure I can get a feed. Just be defensive. Feed here won't kill. Will now. Nope. The more cards I put in, the less cards are feed. Actually took quite a lot of damage. Calibers. Unupgraded Heavy Blade. How good is Warcry Plus? Let's move feet around. Also exhaust itself. Alright, not really the rare relic I was looking for. All these don't really do anything. Alright, alright. This is what we have uh, meat on the bone for. Trance for sure. Okay, I'm gonna take two damage here. Um, I think Immolate's fine in this fight. Part is going to be feeding. I'm gonna take that exhum. Let's me play feed multiple times in case I absolutely need it for damage. Mm -hmm. Spot weakness. Having a bit of non-jack scaling would certainly help. Uh, let me get strong enough. Or I do it like that works as well. Should probably hit that shop. Two hundred thirty-two golds, a decent amount. Got calipers. I have five energy. Just really missing that corruption. Can't card remove and buy shrug it off. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
No, you can't. F you can only feed once in that fight, Fosco Dasco. Um, it's only the final one you kill that counts for feed. That's why feeding against them is so difficult. Otherwise, you could infinitely feed. Um, if you had um, dual wield, to just like keep generating you more and more feeds, you could just you could just have like twelve hundred health and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You know, you you like nap. You like you like nap for three hundred and fifty health. You're like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm alright. This is a lot of damage that I don't want to take, but I have a feeling I'm going to have to. No, they make it very difficult for you to do infinite stuff like that. It's like you also can't exhume and exhume. Because otherwise, if you have a feel no pain, two copies of exhume and a corruption, or two copies of exhume plus, you can just like generate infinite block. You'd have to be pretty slow. You'd have to wait till like his fifth times 15 attack. Yeah, you'd have to wait until, like, turn 15-ish. Trying to Reaper all your health back. Just like, nah, I'll just nap. I'm feeling fat and sassy. Thank you very much for the follow, Fosco Dasco. I hope you're feeling fat and sassy. I'm going to put Shrug on top. Ah! Well, that was not ideal. Your brand did 11 damage instead of 8. Good news is we get meat bonus. Okay, now I don't have to worry about feeding. Now I just have to worry about killing. I am down with that. Put a limit break in the deck. Do you have to kill this idiot somehow? Oh. Um. Yeah. No. That's uh. That's it. This is gonna suck. Yeah, this is gonna suck a lot. Not having a good time. Not having a good time after that one. It's like none of these potions do anything. It's fucking dazes, man. All right, well, now I have infinite block. Thanks, Barricade. How do I kill this idiot? Oh, I just generate like 9,900 block and that's how I do it. There's an exhume in my deck, right? I could double feed in this fight. I think that's the plan. Got him? How many headbutts is too many headbutts? Probably not two. Maybe I should have taken Sword Boomerang. Um, well, I can't nap, or I can't upgrade, so yeah, we'll nap here. Hello, big boy. Let's just pop this one now. Gain one less block if I play this, but I gain slightly more damage. Um, I'll feed now, and then if I get the opportunity to maybe do a proper feed later, then...
I can exhume it. This dual wield would have been a lot better. If I had not already played Metallicize. Uh, we do need that Jax, though. Okay, might die here. That's uh, quite a real possibility. Thank you very much, Live High. There's no way we're barricading. Right? Right? Maybe? Did manage to full block. I mean, it's not going to last, but I'm not going to use the Caltrops at all. Yikes. Yeah, keep putting Impervious in the deck. <laughs> Seems about my best bet. Do have to kill him, so I think I'm gonna play that one. No. Hello. I die. No, I have one health! Right? <gasps> well, I found all my imperviouses. Uh, <laughs> almost made a mistake there! Not gonna play the jacks. Not gonna play the jacks. The jacks? Not gonna play it. Exhume, exhume. Shit. <gasps> oh. I got excited for a second and then reality hit me. Uh, I'll take a Plus. Thank you very much, Live High. So, I've been doing a lot of napping at these bonfires. I, that's not even the super elite. Rip Ma Bank. I'm like probably Toast. I'm just gonna assume Toast is what's happening. That damage is pretty good, especially once I get a Jax or two up. I think I want a second Metallicize. Shockwave is pretty good, though. Yep, Juggernaut's great. Can this go off, like, now? Now would be cool. Um... Oh, well, that didn't hit the right one at all. Give me a 
ram. Am I dead? Have I died? This might be over. Might be just a little bit over. Slightly over? On the edge of over. Oh, yeah. It's lame. Well, sure didn't find corruption ever. Is this my true potential? We got it. We got it once out of Nilri's for the, uh, what did we even fight? It was bro no, it was Collector. And yeah, it was pretty good there. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Unfortunately, it is that time once again. So if you liked what you saw, feel free to follow both here on Twitch as well as the various social media video hosting platform the blah, platforms link down below. Next stream is tomorrow night from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time if you don't know what time that is in your time zone. That's approximately 21 hours and 30 minutes from right now. At that time, we'll be continuing our never-ending quest to Slay the Spire. You can check out previous episodes of both Slay the Spire as well as other games I've streamed in the past at both YouTube and BitChute, linked down below. And feel free to join the community Discord, which is also linked down below. We're going to go raid somebody, so feel free to stick around for that. Whether you do or not, thank you for joining me, and have a good night.